Hey guys, welcome back to Truthy Toll Transformations, where we learn and grow, heal together, transmute negative energy to transcend obstacles to ascend as a collective. This is going to be um, a general reading, whatever comes out for my collective. I do want to tell you guys, um, I've got some messages and some hints to look at um, heavy metal detox in yourself. As well as parasites, we all carry them, especially in the U.S., um, where they don't tell us about these things, and in yourself and your children, okay? Um, and sometimes testing, like, something that I have, which is called the MTHFR mutation gene, which is a blood clotting disorder. Um, it is linked to the stork right ahead of my nose, which is a blue mark, dark circles under the eyes, and we are minerally deficient, and it's over, affects, um like over 60% of our children, but the pediatricians or I won't test for it. By the way, it's for entertainment purposes only. That's my legal disclaimer. Please do the research yourself, but uh, you can order the tests on Amazon to test your children, especially if they're having speech delays or anything like that. Um, I bathe in um, bentonite clay, and I'm getting ready to do the detox journey because um, I think it'll help me with uh, some other issues like migraines, um, things like that. Um, and I will pass all information along to you guys who like it, but I, but Source really wanted me to make sure that I told you guys to don't be afraid to look outside of your general Western health practitioners, okay? Um, and take matters into your own hands. The light spray is great, especially if kids have autism or anything like that, ADHD, um, ADD. Um, this is the research that I've come across today after I've been getting the download for a while and saying someone here needs to see a holistic practitioner, maybe their children do. That's why, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pray, universal source of all it is, I thank you for the opportunity to connect to you through my cards for myself and my collective. I request yours and Archangel Michael's guidance and protection during this and all of my readings. I also ask that they be truthful and loving, yet accurate, specific way, clear for the greater good of all and harm to none. Please help me intuitively interpret the meaning behind each card, each meaning that I pull, and each download or channel message so that I and my youtube family can improve our quality of life as well as the lives of others through these readings discovering hidden and forgotten talents potential and truth i ask that my readings be motivational unique truthful yet comforting and understanding for the highest good of all thank you for the guidance love and protection thank you thank you thank you and so it is also we are protection as above so below and all with the angels of all the directions okay um let's see what do you want me to use today I knew I was going to do the signs, but I'm being actually pushed in a different direction today. Also, I did um, hear a woodpecker. I need to look at the spiritual meaning. I don't have my other phone. But what I got from it, I heard it twice. I have never heard one before here. Uh, and I heard a crow and saw a crow. Um, so what I'm getting is, of course, you guys are magical, uh, mystical crows or messengers. So pay attention to your surroundings, your synchronicities, your dreams. Um, also, you guys are work, have been working hard towards a goal or working hard at something or you're about to be. Um, and even if it seems like you're not getting anywhere, that little peck each, like da 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 da, you know, like the woodpecker does, uh, is each, like each little step that you take every day towards your goal, even if it's something small, even if it's just writing. Uh, at a list or one small step towards that goal is going to help you complete that goal and it is a part i feel like you guys are walking on your life path okay and things of that nature is what i got but i'll also ask um in the cards let's see here i've been um diving deep in this quantum reiki and healing myself with it um but of course you know still detoxing body and things is good so uh i'm really excited to share this journey with you guys thank you for your, your all support um guys being here i do really appreciate you guys so so much um so let's see here First angels, blood play, ancestor spirit guides, there's everything that is, earth angels, spirit guides, somebody here is worrying, worried wanted to pop out, um, so 
Sisters of Love Light, Spirit Nerds of Love Light, for myself and my YouTube collective, we call you forward. Please lead us, guide us with love and light. Give me a little sister, let these readings be truthful for my YouTube collective. Perseverance, okay? So you may be worrying like you're not gonna get through something or something seems really tough, but you will persevere, okay? Um, and an affirmation you can use for that is, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Is there anything else? I knew that one's come out. Acceptance and forgiveness, okay? This is uh, acceptance, I feel, is and forgiveness, forgiving others, but as well as ourselves, accepting others as well as ourselves, so that we know that we can persevere through our goals. Um, af an affirmation you can use for forgiveness is I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. These will raise your vibrations. I'll show you the cards because they have healing mandalas on them. And acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. <clears throat> thank you guys please like this video comment or something it does help these videos get to those who need to see them as well as it helps me as a reader okay because you know I'm, I'm not worried about payment or anything like that but it does help okay I have reset all of my cards today whoops with some selenite <laughs> um, I'm also learning about some crystal healing and things some more crystal healing and things of that nature um, for with my quantum class and I think I'm, I'm going to go on and do uh, the Grandmaster and as well as uh, the alchemy class so I'm excited to share those things with you as I learn them some of the things I can of course you know I can't share everything because it's not but I'll share what I can things that, are, that, you know, guides point out to me. Some of you here um, are protected from harm, but you're in defensive mode, or you may feel like you need to be in defensive mode, okay? Tell me about oh, the woodpecker. Why did I hear the woodpecker today? That's a message from source. Mm -hmm. Something's coming to an end that you walked away from. You're this came to an end, you're closing out this cycle, or you have recently closed it out. Every, but yet, you are, you need to, you're going through a healing period. You're in some, a lot of, this is painful, but so you act like everything's fine. You could have had two endings as well from people, places, and things you walked away from. You got fast forward movement here with the chariot. You're like, I feel like you ran away from this, whatever this is. Tell me what the present energy is, please in your head at night someone wants someone's in their head about you they want to bring you their cup of love it is an immature love though because there's a the fish there um somebody's worried stressed out will of fortune is in your favor here remember the message yesterday about those of you that have been in bad relationships um abusive things like that narcissistic whatever um are you done with the past or and you're being tested okay you will be successful you're meant to be a leader you're meant to tell your story the little fortune is in your favor we have aquarius scorpio taurus and i believe aries energy leo i said that taurus scorpio aquarius yeah and the uh, will of fortune card or the third wheel of fortune. Someone could win some money. It's just a side note here. Tell me where this is going. What's going on with this? This person thinks that their luck may change. They want to see if you've missed them. They're going to use an excuse to reach out. Okay. They've been manifesting you. Or you're, you're, they know that you're able to manifest to bring things in. You chose a different road. Something is could be coming to an ending or... Um, it ended for a reason, it's being transformed, okay? And it's hard, it hurts, it's tough. Spirit saying, don't be afraid to feel those feelings and tap into them, lean into them. It'll help you heal it at the core, that's the truth. You're gonna hear some truth about this person. 
Okay, so a lot of you have been in hermit mode. This is a double-edged sword. This is clean clarity um, about a person, place, or thing. It's painful, but it's going to help you heal and move forward. Those of you that feel stuck or unsure of what to do. Okay, this could also be um, this person pretending everything's fine after you've walked away from them, knowing damn well they're in their head, they're having nightmares, you know, that they didn't offer you the love that they should have. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm getting a couple different storylines here. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune, please. I feel like this is kind of tied to the reading from yesterday a little bit. You're the magician. You're the alchemist. You're learning to transmute, to transcend past your obstacles. You're the master, becoming a master magician of your craft, okay? Meaning of your craft means, like, just using energy, okay? Um, you use the elements to create. You're learning that you are a part of everything. Everything is a part of you. Everything is energy. The yin and yang of things. You're balancing your inner feminine, your feminine and masculine energies. Um, what is this Heaven of Pentacles? Balance. Somebody tried to juggle you, right? And now things are being brought to balance. You're about to get some type of reward. I feel whatever is hidden is definitely coming to light. Clarify the step card. Scorpio energy here. This has been a slow process of uh, this transformation, but you're almost there. What is this truth here, Spirit? Ace of Swords, what's this truth? Yeah, about a soulmate. I'm here to find out some truth about a soulmate. It could be a family member for some of you. Um, someone from your past, someone that you grew up with. They know that you'll help them or you've helped them out of situations before, so just be weird. It'd be, you know. Listen to your intuition. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. You, only you know what's right for you, okay? This person feels stuck, stagnant, lost. As you, and here you are growing, flourishing in your glow up period. Um, you're gaining enlightenment. Somebody may be getting caught up. This could also be a jail card, okay? be an outcome. Eight of swords. Yeah, that's another jail card. Look, this person is ill. They're sick mentally, emotionally be physically somebody get caught up this is a joke card they're definitely in their head they feel tied up don't get in your be careful getting in your head over this person this person does want to stir up your feelings um you know they know you're stable we're working your stability your prayers answers manifestations are being heard you know you went through the sadness once you when they didn't appreciate you they were so busy focusing on the outside world they failed to acknowledge what each you had whether it be friendship, a family member, um, an ex, okay? Most of you, it's an ex. Do you want to go through this again, this sad, dark period, you know? Or have you learned the lesson? Because you're about to get rewarded for your commitment to the divine, for your um, hard work, for you working on yourself. Because as you heal yourself, you also heal the collective, okay? So you got blessings upon blessings coming. I'm going to tap into, um, look, imprisonment at the bottom of the Kipper. Let's see what else we can get here. Tell me more about this Kipper, or tell me more with the Kipper deck, please. Ooh, shit. Did you see how those came out? Somebody is about to f fumble. They're, they're a mess. They're in poverty. You're a mature woman or man on this journey, this healing journey. You're about to have a come up. To me, this could be a woman or a masculine. Put it where it resonates, you know, gender, no gender in tarot. They definitely want to send you a message. I feel like that's a heart there. It is actually a seal. So you could be getting an official letter. Pay attention. You could read out through email text, you know, uh, snail mail. This is in the near future. There's a main mail in the reverse here. So someone that's in their shadow. Um, they see you as privileged, lucky. They are not wealthy. Judicial so just popped out. They wanted to pop out. Yeah, I told you. They see you as privileged. Um, you could also be your privileged per if you're into females for privilege that you could be coming in. If you're not this privileged person, 
you're not going to have to work as hard as you once did because you are about to have an idea or get a raise or come up of some sort uh, winning a windfall um be put in the right position start your own business or you know uh, create a product or something i'm getting lots of different things for a lot of you this actual change was on the end it was the energy of that on the bottom what else spirit what else please my youtube collecting you know at this time children could be a factor if you could have children they could have children um they may use if you have children this person they may use your kids or if they were around them as a reason to reach out you are in their thoughts they are experiencing bad health while you're gonna have sudden wealth so they know that you're very lucky there is a mature energy masculine or feminine doesn't matter or like partner for you coming through like I said yesterday, there is definitely a test here from spirit. Do you want to move on from the past and continue healing and go on to all that spirit has to you? Somebody may be trying to get out of court, okay? It could be a divorce for some of you. It could be um, child support. It could be, you know, they're in trouble for something they've done to you or just something they've done to others. I think you may be able to help them. So what, I'm, what I just heard. Thank you, spirit. What else? Official person, it's definitely a poor situation. Yeah, you're highly thought of in the spiritual realm. You're having a change to great fortune. You're getting unexpected income. There's something that this person feels that this is not over. Okay, they're concerned that you're gonna find someone else and marry them, the right one. You know, they are not your lover. They are the false person. Okay, this person coming in could be wealthy that you get attached to, or you guys just build together. Okay. all while they're in despair so you've got someone who is equally equally like you or is you know doing really well for their life or you guys together can build this fortune to just different stories i'm getting put it where it resonates um some of you have had hearing this in songs like different you know songs might be playing that you all listen to that's a sign from them you know they're trying to be in your energy um as well as new love songs that are a clue from this new person okay Yep, somebody's going to court. Part of this is, could be karma. This is not everybody's story. Only take what resonates, okay? Not everything will resonate with you. It's not meant to. Remember, this is a collective reading. Um, Spirit's saying, you know, it's, you know, you can forgive them. That doesn't mean you have to be with them. Of course, that choice is yours. You're going to persevere through this, though. Sometimes you have to accept that someone's just not willing to change or do your work. That you're willing to do no matter how much you love them i've been there you're getting your wish fulfillment though it's coming okay um let's tap in these cosmic love cards or cosmic oracle cards it's probably the only video i do today um i have a little bit of a headache but i wanted to put you guys something out and now i know the mto chapar makes me um not makes me um not absorb vitamins and minerals and it makes me dehydrated it all makes sense now like so many questions were just answered by something i found on tiktok and i researched it a little bit myself spirit was saying that yeah commitment things are maybe getting or it's commitment somebody wants they want to come back in for a commitment um i do feel some of you you know this may be a challenge because you have to make this decision do you are you ready it says make a decision and work to work on inner healing things are getting serious um they could also be tied somebody here is some some of these people are tied to others um fire sign aries leo sag of course it's just energy but um no it's not the right time for you and this person to be back together distance could be an issue you and your partner or true person may be physically apart or emotionally distant intimacy they want to come back in for sexual chemistry they're reminiscing uh you obviously know what to do <laughs> earth sign taurus or capricorn i'm also getting money with that um someone want to come back in for money and sex you need a vacation you soon you'll be traveling on vacation okay or if not you can try to plan one don't worry about how you're gonna get the money just plan it yes luck is on your side for this greeting angels are watching you this person was definitely a liar um they're being sneaky trying to come back in patience um is warranted right now just a few more months 
good things are coming come uh, good things come to those who wait anything else out of this deck spirit we did the other cards yesterday um you may be to help you heal pets are very healing okay um give your current pet more attention or maybe you want to adopt a pet um your intuition is right on okay the red flags you ignore today will become back to bite you in the ass later some of you will be changing your residences, moving, okay? This person may cut, try to come in with a confession, all right? They're trying to manifest to you, um, and, or you might hear this, gain this clarity from someone else about the truth about this person, that some things that you may not, you like thought of, but you weren't sure of, that's what I just heard, all right? Let me get you guys some signs for this one. Signs, please, for this collective. And if the relationship doesn't resonate with you, it could be somebody in your energy, okay? Um, what signs? Okay, remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Pisces. It's my sign. And we are in the last week of retrograde. Scorpio. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagitt again. Of course, we had the Earth sign earlier. Of course, you know, signs are just energy, but some of you guys like these, so that's why I do them. Capricorn could be significant. Cancer could be significant as well. All right. I keep these out so I know uh, what to tag exactly. Tomorrow, I promise you guys, I'll get started back on the astrology signs, and I'll co finish them out uh, starting with this week uh, through the month, and we'll go ahead and do all signs again. Actually, I might just start all signs and group them together at the current energy. Let's get you guys some fortune cards. That way it doesn't always have to do with the situation in case you're here or not for that. I did, um, earlier, I, uh, reset these. Ooh, you have the bear. Danger, especially in money matters. This, I've told you, I feel like this person really wants a piece of money or wants to come in and use you for money. Just be careful. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Thank you. I'm not taking all those. Wedge. Someone is trying to call, come between you and a friend or something that you want. Could also be the the love that you're manifesting for some of you. Take it as it resonates. Could be a family member who's jealous of the love that you already have. Ow. Good advice from a wise person. Box. You will receive a gift. So this person could come with flowers or gifts or something. Coins, money will be coming to you. Tiger, doing something risky. Take it the chance. It's going to lead you to the money path. That's what I just heard from Spirit. Trust yourself. You have all of the experience from this life plus your past life experience. Something from the month of October. If nothing happened last October, this is this October. Something good is coming. There's a major challenge to overcome or you're working on overcoming this challenge. For some of you, it could be this relationship or a family issue or whatever dynamic it is. Teardrops. Great personal sorrow. Some of you went through a lot of sorrow back in October of this year, last year, or year before. Candle. You will be shown the way. The bow. You are highly thought of, especially in the spiritual realm is what I just heard after I said that. Um... Me. as long as you know you're taking steps to heal and working on it like it's you guys are doing a great job like how your energy feels pretty good basket recognition and reward for your merit unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes pineapple somebody here will go through a reconciliation this is not for everybody or somebody wants a reconciliation um doesn't have to really shift be family friend you know something like that forces are working against you with the axe okay what else spirit what else for my beautiful collective something from the month of february that's this year i heard good fortune for leaf clover the vine seek out information that will help you and diamond you are re will be receiving or giving a precious gift somebody may get an engagement ring or a promise ring or some sort of jewelry flowers i'm seeing chocolate i'm seeing a balloon i'm seeing a car mm -hmm. Okay, rat. Th there's a rat there, so be careful. Something seems too good to be true. Your broken bridge. I'm a successful woman. There's someone, this person is still tied to somebody for some of you, okay? I'm sorry. No, that's not for all of you, okay? Um, only take it where it resonates. Let's use 
my Bluebird Oracle or Bluebird back here. Tell me more for my YouTube collective, please. A lady and a gentleman in the reverse. Remember, flip it, switch it, throw your story. Birch Rod is in the reverse and our Fox is in the reverse. They're trying to be very sneaky right now. Um, they're trying to deceive you, okay? With Willie glances and Re Renard snaps. This person is like snaps at the mouth when they get pissed off. Evade deception, beware of old traps, okay? The Birchwood brings strife. They're trying to bring strife upon you. Some of these people are pissed off because you moved on. Um, and you have been keep trying to keep, especially if you've been trying to keep them out of your energy and not responding, and they're going to come in with a new tactic, okay? They could be, come through friends, mutuals, all right, so be careful. Birchwood brings strife to what should be bliss, to husband and wife, all has gone amiss. Prepare, so something's happened in the person they were with, or seeing, banging, whatever. Um, prepare for sorrows that dampen the day, begotten of quarrels. That will bring you dismay. And I noticed in the bottom when I looked at their deck originally, there was a feminine reverse as well. So tell me more about this book. Cross. Somebody's been studying you. They may come in and say they've just said and found God or something like that for some of you. So they're trying to conceal something. This is about something being concealed or hidden. Vera, that's what you're going to gain clarity on some of you. When, listen to this. The unopened book leaves stories concealed. When pages are read, the truth is revealed. This book guards tales of inner emotion. Blessed are the words of deep devotion. Deep devotion to the divine. Okay. A crossways pain historically said, sad. A distance too close means tidings are bad. To be aware of how close they are trying to get to you. Okay. Suffering increases when this cross is near, but burdens can lift if you persevere and you had perseverance so you guys this is a warning okay we are in retrograde still so just be aware of old energies from the past the stork somebody could try to say they're pregnant or there may be somebody that's pregnant or trying to make up a false pregnancy because it did come out like this but i did feel spirit baby i do feel that in the energy so some of you could be getting pregnant or having a baby or recently having a baby the bear is here about being brave and bold but you need to be aware of your finances at this time. I'm going to read it to you. Bravery and bold. Here is the bear. Your financial positions. You should be aware. Spend your resources with wisdom and care. Use your power to be strong and fair. So, and I've been telling you guys about what's going on in the world financially. Jobs and things. Um, but, like, this person could be coming in to try to use you for money. Steal money. The tower. Can't make it up, guys. A lone tower stands confident and secure. Ground your strength is all in all that is pure. When troubles surround, weakness may come. Problems that abound may be overcome. Because you have a strong foundation. You build a stronger foundation in yourself, okay? Um, there's that feminine reverse. So this person is tied to someone else, okay? And it's a, they're trying to keep it a secret. I'm going to read you the ones that came out. You're shining bright like a star at this time. This is a... Uh, you're about to come upon a very happy time. Your dreams are about to come true. Hope is in sight. Success is in view. They, the moon is here, so they're definitely hiding something. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Emotions wax and wane in the moon's light. So this energy of this recent full moon and retrograde could have them all going crazy. Yeah, their garden is dried up. They may be kicked out of a house or a situation and they're not in good energy or happy, you know, trying to find happiness. There is a codependent issue with some of you. Don't get mad at Don't choose a messenger, please. Um, or this person could be in your family going through this or an ex-friend or whatever and trying to get in your energy, okay? This is somebody you cut out um, for some of you. Some of you, this is someone that you need to cut out, okay? They're going to send you a surprise message or just try to show up in your energy. They're trying to figure out exactly how the right way to do it. Um, so you're gonna get news from a good friend or good news from a friend. Um, 
they may try to come in this friend you need to be careful they may be the fox trying to like playing on this person's side to get you back in this person's energy for some of you yeah i'm gonna read this to you this surprise letter from a place remote brings good news from a friend who wrote if the words portend a stormy sky sadness will soon much attention by all right, so you're gonna get some, get some truth and clarity to hear it from a friend or find out about a friend who did you wrong. Um, masculine in the reverse again. So, you know, this person's tied to more people. They're trying to use other people that you may talk to to come and get in your energy. You know, they're afraid, some of them are afraid to send messages of self. The birds are here, that's a messenger it was in the reverse and the tree. Your roots are strong, remember that, okay? You're very strong. You're not the same who you were. You've been, you grow and heal daily. I'm so freaking proud of you guys. So stand, stand your ground, okay? Uh, children may be a, a, benefit, a factor here. This person is not well anchored or well grounded. Try to avoid the snake. They're coming, trying to come in with your shit. They're not loyal, okay? They may come in with their heart on their sleeve. Careful of love bombing. Trying to steal your good luck. Your good luck will go away. You'll go. You'll like be interconnected with their karma if you're not careful. Okay. They are holding us the scythe, and they are a mouse, which is someone you can't trust. Okay. The robber mice take your treasure inside the house. They steal with pleasure. Hope's not for gone. Where this card is near. Once the mice is gone, you are, you'll regain what is here. This could also be a friend. This could be a family member. Put it where it is. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news. I'm telling you, somebody's gonna get some flowers. And, uh, or has recently. Alright. Some of you, this is from this person, from your past. Let me get some love energy here for those of you that are here for the love, okay? If it'd be different, if this person, if I got good cards and they are, you know, an energy that they were, they were done some work they've done some thinking they're really wanting to work on it and change like i would tell you that and i would be so happy like i don't like to tell you guys this but i have to speak the truth and that is something if you don't want the truth i'm not the reader for you okay um i'm not one that i i mean i you know i tell things in um uh, understanding way and i'm compassionate but i'm truthful and i and i have to because i'm in the service of the divine nobody else okay Forgiveness is the energy on the bottom. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay. Notice that your angels are with you at this time. I got Mark Angel Michael vibes from that. What else does this collective need to hear when it comes to love, please? Devon. These heart cards are sometimes so hard to Oh goodness. Anything else, spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else? One final time. Anything else? I feel like there's one more in here somewhere. I could fill it in. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Can't make it up, y'all. I know, every reader says that. All right. Forgiveness was the first one. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. How it's supposed to just not happening to you, it's happening for you, okay? Sexual union. Told you this person wants to come in with sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you're one eternal soul. There is punchy true bliss. I feel like this is just saying, hold on. That's a separate side message. Some of you, this person does want to come in for that reason to heal because your love is very healing. You have healing energy. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love to make memories. Lots of memories at this time. Even if they're with yourself, your kids, if you have any with your pets, with your family friends even with just by yourself like i said you know sometimes our our most the one we learn the most is what we're by ourselves okay transformation someone's relationship with one another is about to deepen love comforts and transforms all things so someone here could also be fighting this is another energy i'm getting okay or have an energy of there is an energy of transformation and forgiveness um i'm going to tell you to be cautious though okay that's just because of the energy I got. But I'm getting two different storylines. Somebody here will work things out, and it is it is good. It's okay. But they're not abusive. They're not going to yell at you or talk down to you. Um, they're not love-bombing you. You're going to know the difference if you listen to your intuition. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. This is for um, one of my followers that watches a lot of my videos and comments a lot. 
All right. Nurture the bonds of the friendship within your relationship. And your love life will dramatically improve. You know who you are. Jim, I'm going to say rock hound. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This is for you. This transformation. Okay. Something is being transformed. Give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating new room, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I'm going to read that one more time. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Like, that's beautiful energy. I, and like I said, I was getting two different storylines, so, or two or three different ones, so you guys put it where it resonates, all right? It's different for live, and I'm reading, like, one-on-one -on -one for you guys, you know, mini readings or something. And I'm going to, actually, I am going to research that uh this week because i do want to bring you guys um the spirit what do you want me to use from the book from this so i'm not going to take any more than three okay what is my youtube collection do you hear the most right now for their healing path thank you you got four i'll go ahead and read them all what we'll is do less of the others thanks guys for tuning in remember smash that like button leave me a comment tell me what kind of readings you would like to see light activation of all the uh, evolution of spirit, actioning of plans, and transcendence. So you're going to take action on plans. You're transcending past obstacles. I'm also going to read from the book. Somebody here is getting some justice. Inner Oracle. You are the channel. Deja vu. Self-fulfilling prophecy. So that's about like switching your thoughts, listening to subliminals, listening to saying affirmations, listening to them. I listen to them a little bit, so I not a lot. They help me greatly, even if it's just for a little bit. Um, I listen to them while I get ready, when I'm driving. Okay. Golden Light Ray. 16. Love and Laughter is healing energy it's the best medicine receiving and giving gifts and passionate projects and eight cosmic gateway insecurities connections with others and refocusing so someone here needs to refocus their energy instead of focusing so much on someone from their past um they need to focus on themselves refocus it on what they truly want even if it's not with that person because you will continue the cycle time and time again if you're not meant to be with somebody every time you get back with them until you learn the lesson, okay? I'm trying to prevent you guys from having to do things over and over and over, okay? And be careful about the divine masculine, divine feminine thing, like I said, because you have to have a very reputable reader. And there are a lot of readers that are out there for just for money and just to make what they can. And I don't want to see you guys, you know, go through that. More times, often times, more times than not, you know, they're a karmic or, you know, sometimes the contrast can be null and void. Like in my case, things like that, okay? But the tr divine, the twin flame journey is really about them teaching you, like, your lessons that you're taught. You learn to love yourself. You come into um, balance within your own inner feminine and masculine. Left side is uh, masculine, right side is feminine, if I'm not mistaken, of your body. It's proven in health. And um, when you come into union within yourself, that's when your true divine counterpart appears or you will have union again, okay? Cosmic Gateway, insecurities, connection with others, refocusing. The Cosmic Gateway, a portal that connects souls to universal multiverse, is accessible via trance states and meditation through our central light column. Opening the Cosmic Gateway to the soul sacred light, like a flower, nurturing and care of its environment, allows the soul to bloom in its own precious time. The path to self-realization is full of consciousness awakenings. Not one awakening, oh, multiple, okay? Our mind is a powerful tool that when fully open and activated can connect our being to light sources unimaginable to the naked eye when the sacred light of the cosmic gateway shines upon the world the individual acceleration of self-awareness through self-realization can reveal the body's capability of healing itself 
Ascension Master Yogan Yoganada announces that you are in a time of great personal change and growth. Make it up, guys. Don't be afraid to start over again and or of finding fresh ways to support the life you want with joy and happiness. If you feel overwhelmed, reduce excessive workloads as you work through this process. And I've told you guys, rest and relax when you can. That's confirmation, okay? Yoganada suggests practicing self-realization as you work through any feelings of sadness or melancholy that you have about the past or what you are seeking to change. <clears throat> Somebody needs to clear the throat chakra. Um, I know I've done, already done mine today. I do mine every day with this one. Um, all right. I can put out chakra healings if you guys would like. Let me know. Comment that below. Um, what was that? Yoga Nada suggests practicing self-realization as you work through any feelings of sadness or melancholy you have about the past or what you are seeking to change. Challenge yourself to try new things or join a self-help group that aligns with your global or personal interests. Balance will restore what the mind is. Re balance will restore when the mind is restored, and that's true. What you disease is disease of the body. Okay, is when the body's not in ease. Okay, and it's all linked to mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. I had to learn this myself. I mean, guys, if you knew my health before, some of you do. I, you know, um, cancer, loop. And, I, and yeah, sometimes I still, you know, have some flare-ups and I know there's something that I need to heal or work on. And, and I know that I need to do detoxes and things like that. And they have, the things I've been doing, like, naturally have greatly helped me. Like, if you guys only knew. Anyways, Sacred Crystal Rhodonite Affirmation. I am my own master. I hold the answers within me. My energy is limitless. And thank you for the kind comments about my readings and... Uh, how everything resonates and things. You guys have this power too. We all do, okay? Um, there's a, you know, I do think there is a difference between someone who learns to read, you guys can, or someone who just has the gift, someone who's just reading to read the cards just by the meanings, and then you guys don't know the difference, okay? And I've had this gift, you know, for a long time. I've been reading for 20, 20 years, almost 25 years now, you know, on, on and off through uh, my adult life, first part of it. I, I hit it because... I would I'm like my ex-husband would make fun of me and things like that so don't be you know if you're in a relationship like that get out of it because it's not you don't deserve that okay somebody who loves you is going to support you even if they don't agree with you you can agree to disagree right if I knew what I knew now I would have lived my life so different golden light but then I wouldn't be where I'm at with who I'm with and all those things you know what I mean Golden Light Ray, love and laughter, receiving and giving gifts, passionate projects. The Golden Ray is on the 12th ray of creation, the highest frequency, also known as Christ Consciousness. It is a high frequency healing the channel that connects to the celestial sun. The Golden Ray can gently awaken your kundalini and accelerate your spiritual growth the more you choose to work with this vib with its vibration. That's funny because I was, not funny, but it resonates because I, I was doing uh, kundalini yoga today with, through um, my um, Reiki master. The golden light ray accelerates, or the golden light ray anchors creator energy into the restraining, restraining, somebody needs to be, is going to have to be restrained. Somebody's about to piss somebody off. Or the, somebody's going to piss you off and you need to hold back, okay? The golden light ray anchors creator energy into the remaining light rays throughout the universe and earth, creating and influencing planetary healing and releasing energetic denseness as its wavelengths move across the multiverse. The ray can initiate soul awakenings that bring your perception of all that is into closer mental focus. I put these leaves up here because there are healing. I don't know if you guys can see the sacred geometry. These are healing activators, okay? Floating along the golden ray, Ascension Master Lord Maitreya disrupts dense and melancholic emotions. That's the second time we've heard melancholy today, right? He encourages you to see the lighter side of life so that laughter and comedic relief can benefit you. Use color therapy. Pause and take a breath. Laughter is the me best medicine for the soul. Generosity and abundance follow the golden ray wherever it leads. It is pure divinity that seeks to heal those who access its frequency. Much like the setting sun, its color is warm and luminous, settling our soul when we feel its glow. Always uplifting, the golden ray will shower you with the warmth and comforting of fulfillment as it settles the highs and lows of emotions, shifting feelings of loss and emptiness within the psyche of your soul. Find joy in laughing at yourself more often, Ascension Master Lord Maitra. 
Sacred crystal is opal. Affirmation, I am golden. I am radiant. I am abundant. I accept these gifts with an open heart. Okay, because you have to be open to receive, right? And it's about healing that lack mindset. And it can come in a bunch of different forms. We've talked a little bit about that on this channel. About, like, hearing our parents or grandparents say, we don't have money for that and things like that. No, it's like, you, you have to learn to switch that. And every time you spend money, money's always flowing back to me. Every time I spend money, money comes back to me. I am abundant. I am prosperous. My money multiplies in my bank account. Every time I, you know, it, it really works. Because, you know, especially if you believe that, uh, by the laws of the universe and the, your um, actions, your words, your thoughts, your subconscious thoughts included create your reality. So it's about changing that subconscious thought. Even if you say, oh, I'm not going to say that anymore and you catch yourself, you have to change the subconscious. That's why listening to these affirmations really helps at night. Record your own voice saying them, your affirmations for whatever your, your desire is, right? Put a Record them, put them on a pair app, put it on loop, like put it on the lowest volume. Even if it's just for an hour, it's best to do it longer, but it really works. I promise you guys number 17 inner oracle you guys are your own your inner oracle you guys are getting starting getting more downloads more messages your intuition is growing your psychic abilities are getting upgrades okay you are the channel deja vu self-fulfilling prophecies retrieving the knowledge and wisdom that is offered from deep illumination can often be prophetic and life-affirming and will help you to know you are on the right path powerful realizations prophetic vision past life memories and soul connections are triggered by the oracle that is centered deep within you. Did you hear that? Soul connections. Your soul family, like, you know, I believe you guys are on this channel. You stayed here for a reason. We are a soul family. In some way, shape, or form, we're meant to be in each other's lives. This is also your soul love connections, okay? For those of you that are single or going through crappy relationships and just looking for that one, okay? The wisdom of the, as you heal yourself and you grow, it changes your reality. And you bring in the same vibration that you are, all right? The wisdom of the inner oracle is often buried within. Discovering a presence illuminates past mistakes, bad choices, and ego-based relationships with yourself and others. Revealing this connection can trigger internal def defenses, making it difficult to maintain a solid connection to the intelligence of your oracle. Dedicated to illuminate the earth, or Lanto asks you to lean and grow your inner oracle with discussion, seeing the world with the eyes of wisdom, and acknowledging that you are still a student learning at the great cycle of life. A good teacher always will tell you we're always students, okay? Accepting possible errors and judgments allows your consciousness to adapt, redirecting energy to a new outcome. I'm going to start right there because I need to, there's, I'm getting the message they're telling me. I need to tell you again uh, about, hold on, revealing this connection can trigger internal defenses, making it difficult to maintain a solid connection to the intelligence of your oracle so like mm, negativity can also throw off your inner internal guidance system uh like speaking bad about yourself things like that okay holding the flame of illumination on the second ray ascension master lord lanto encourages you to become closer to your sense of knowing explore your psychic self and intuition as you examine previous signs and events where deja vu has been experienced sudden realizations will occur now having the courage to openly accept them is what initiates the act of enlightenment mastery is the key to self-success discipline your mind Ma ascension master lord lanto sacred crystal is labradite affirmation i'm constantly learning i illuminate my presence with each lesson and this spiritual journey is not easy okay Illum awakening is not easy um it's not we are always good but it's it's easier if you have the tools to know how to navigate it when something comes up okay um you'll be tested and sometimes the tests are pretty hard you know and i'm i'm gonna tell you right now you're always tested with the past whether it's a, a past belief a past addiction a past person okay um but once you pass that test it don't show up in your reality anymore if it does it's in a different sense okay I've been studying this stuff for a long time, um, and I'm, you know, getting a lot of new book downloads and information and my dream, you know, and I've always had prophetic dreams since I was a kid, and I've been having a lot more of those about things to tell you guys, but until I confirm it, that it wasn't just a lesson for me, and they tell me, yes, pass this on, then I don't, okay? I want you guys to know everything I tell you guys, unless I, like, say, hey, you know, take this with a grain of salt, which I don't usually do, 
is, you know, um, there's a reason, okay? It, it's to help you guys grow, to trigger something. And so, it, sometimes you may not understand the message. Spirit's wanting to tell you this too. Uh, sometimes they speak in riddles um, in different ways. And it's because it's meant to make you think or it'll trigger something in your energetic body. It'll trigger something in your subconscious and it'll come out later when you're meant to. You're not falling behind. You're right where you need to be. Okay. Light activation. Evolution of spirit, actioning of plans, and transcendence. When the body lights up in an attunement or activation, it triggers a beacon for the soul to communicate with the physical body. Overseen by the ancient Tibetan master, Jawa Kul, activations can bring up deep healing and transcendence. Regardless of physical sensation, these activations occur on an energetic and emotional level. Activations, which can be physical or spiritual in nature, amplify your personal connections with the world and energy around you. Um, and the, when I show you guys this... Uh, do more with this type of Reiki that I'm working with, learning and mastering, uh, you guys will feel it, okay? Most of the time. Some people block it out, but most people who are sensitive energy feel it. If you've ever felt energy before, you'll be able to feel it, okay? And it, it's, there's different levels. Essential for the evolution of human consciousness, activating energy centers, intuition, healing abilities, life force, or kundalini can happen Gently or abruptly, given your chosen personal path, awakening dormant DNA and hidden memories, activations are dormantly positive experiences that encourage your mind to connect more closely to your soul and spirit. Transmissions, awakenings, and spiritual prophecy will occur now, so have a paper and pen ready. So someone here that's in my collective, a couple of you guys, or some of you guys, if that resonated, you know, you are... You're, you're moving on to you're moving into transcending something. Every time you transcend something, it you're gonna get this deep, deep like messages. Okay, um, it might be signs, it might be animals that you're supposed to look up the spiritual meaning of. Anytime you have a question, look up spiritual meaning of that object, that person, that word. Look up gematria, uh, and look what words go with it. Like look up. You want to learn more about you? Look up your name, the gematria meaning, like your first, middle, and last. Look what words go along with it, okay? And the ones that speak to your intuition will lead you places, all right? They wanted me to tell you that too, sorry. Awakening dormant DNA and hidden memories, activations, and dom 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 dominantly positive experiences that encourage your mind to connect more closely to your soul and spirit. Transmissions, awakenings, and spiritual prophecy will occur now, so have a paper and pen ready. Ascension Master Joel Cool. Ask you to be clear with your intentions as conflicts will be triggered by stress. Choose to let go of fear and let your soul guide you on a journey of self-discovery. Your soul is in a, a co constant state of learning. So learning a new skill and planning future education are favorable now. Somebody is also taking back their life, I just heard. Like, they're getting your power back. That's several of you. Be realistic in your approach. Otherwise, you will set yourself up to fail. Re wait. Be re realistic in your approach. Otherwise, you'll set yourself up to fail. Repeating self-sabotaging behaviors, being stubborn will only keep you stuck in places that your soul doesn't want to be in. And trust me, I know that because I am stubborn as I can, okay? I had to learn to be less stubborn. I'm still stubborn about some things. But, so try to be more flexible, especially if you are stubborn. Uh, um, Alright? It, it, it's for your benefit, I promise. But if you know something and your belief is like, even if you're like stuck on something, like maybe the girl you grew up with something in your religion, I, I encourage you or to like look at different perceptions look at it from a higher perspective like uh anything that you're challenged in your thoughts because a lot of what we grew up learning was false lies misled misleading um and that's part of the awakening okay and i'm not saying i'm not remember it's for entertainment purposes only um but yeah your soul is seeking new challenges let yourself be free ascended master jawal call Sacred crystal sharite, terrorite, C H A R O, C H A R O I T E. Affirmation: I activate and awaken my soul's divine intelligence, and I've used that one. It does help. Okay. Like you guys, I'm so excited. Like this is amazing. Like your own inner oracle is. I feel being upgraded. Okay. Light activation of light body. Like this is beautiful energy. Okay. I just heard, accept, adapt, forgive, and persevere. All right. Whatever that means to you. Let's give you guys some Archangel Michael. These are like relationship guidance ones. That's why I'm using these ones for you all. 
Well, there's other life things in here, too. I'm not going to read the prayer. You guys can know how to pray. You know, what to say. Pretty sure. Unless you want me, if you guys want me to always read them, tell me. We're just collecting these here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew there was going to be a bunch. I knew it. Alright. Energy healing work. Okay? Some of you need to see energy healers. I am an energy healer. Okay? Um, there's other ones. Just make sure they're reputable. You want to make sure they keep up with their spiritual hygiene so they're not attaching cords to you or trying to steal your powers or what you know yes they can do that it's a real thing i've had it happen to me so i know um admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly someone needs to be honest with themselves about that person place or thing and act accordingly you have a favorable outcome take your time making this decision lean on god and the angels for support have confidence in yourself and your abilities and your talents and what you're learning and what you're doing and what you want okay manifestations your children are watched over by angels you and your children are safe that's what you need to know okay even if they're not living with you right now or anything like that um for whatever reason or they have to go visit the other parent they're safe. they're watched over okay always say that prayer ask our angel like watch over them whatever resonates with you um let me get you guys a healing frequency do a spirit animal and a soul truth message and you guys can go on i always say i'm gonna cut them shorter and here we are 55 55 uh notice the sequ sequence right the sync or sequence this the synchronicity what am i trying to say spit it out tash yesterday was unconditional love we'll see what today's mantra is and this will help raise your frequency i'll also show you the picture because it does have a healing frequency on it inner beauty i opened the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being, including yourself. Okay. Personality and physical appearances are in, are the image of man. Beauty and goodness are the image of God. And I've always said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is skin deep. And I've always said, people would always say, you know, my whole life, uh, or like especially when I was modeling things, oh, you're so pretty. I don't want you to see you here. I want you to see here. You know? Maybe I'm different than a lot of people, but... I don't know and like yeah i mean of course you have to be attracted to a person you know but y'all know what i mean there has to be an attraction there but yeah you're moving past that construct of man okay and your inner beauty uh, and your inner beauty often reflects the outer beauty not on everybody though okay some people are, are simply meant to be like tests to, to see if your intuition's working on point i believe because you can be the freaking hottest damn person in the world and be an asshole. Like, be in your shadow deep and, and be, like, projecting and mean and vile or whatever. And I don't want to talk to you. I've had people try that shit. Uh-uh. Wrong one. <laughs> I want to know, you know, who are you? Do you, you know, what's the most important thing to you? You know, your family? Do you care about others? Do you want to help the world? Do you give to others? Do you help out? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. And that includes my friends. That's not just, you know relationship of course i'm happy and i'm taken so i don't want nobody else ever anyways dragonfly magic i embrace my transformation i courageously let go of the past the magic of nature is in me i am brilliant i am blessed you may see any of these animals or anything from this reading in your reality could put to a collar that i mentioned or a number or a word um pay attention to the physical animal seeing it in a picture okay that's a sign of this reading that you know, it'll, it'll click something in your brain, hopefully. The heroine. Heron. Heron. Patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. The dolphin. Dolphin and whale frequencies are very healing, you guys. And it, it does help to the, in the, the DNA cellular level. It also, uh does something subconsciously for healing okay it will actually help physical as well dolphin play swim in the happy joy of living innate confidence and exhale fear oh sorry inhale confidence and exhale fear drive in d dive into your wisdom and go with the flow i want to swim a dolphin so bad like that is number one when i made a bucket list when i was diagnosed with cancer when i was only supposed to live six months to five years and I beat it, um, listening to my intuition and my guide, you know, that's before I really connect and talk to them or whatever. Um, and making my own RSO oil. Remember, this is for 
entertainment purposes only. Please seek a professional, medical, legal, financial, whatever. Okay. Counselor, yada, yada, yada. If you need one. If you're in an emergency, call your local emergency services. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was number one on my bucket list and I still have to complete that. So I want to go to Florida and swim with the dolphins like really bad. Like, yeah, I got to do it like soon before I, I don't know. I just feel like I need to do it really soon. I think it's because it's so healing. Anyways, lion, you have a higher calling. Okay. Higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment within those by your side. Make noble choices by your life and your tribe and you guys are my tribe i'm so thankful for you guys butterfly rebirth i have two bat butterfly tattoos someone else here has a butterfly tattoo or really really likes them uh and this met this reading a lot of it was for you okay you can reinvent yourself open to the be open to the rewards of change you have brilliance to shine with the world love every part of your journey wolf pathfinder Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Okay, they just, hold on. I'm being guided to pull from this little deck here for your guys' uh, final guidance before I read your soul truth message, okay? Spirit, however they land is how we'll take them. I need guidance for my YouTube co beautiful YouTube collective on the reading we did today, Spirit. What do they need to know? What advice? Please and thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a lot. Alright, I'm taking them how they landed, okay? Let go of the unvirtuous person whose word means little and whose actions is indecisive. That was about that reading for sure today. You're on the right path. Lack of self-restraint brings about trouble. We talked about that earlier too. Don't get caught up in conflict. Keep up with the preparation. Each step gets you closer to the goal. We talked about that. See, you guys can't make this up. Confirmation. Look closely at your relationships and obligations. There is danger ahead. Step away. Somebody, you're going near someone or someone's coming in. This is someone from your past. They are not to be trusted. You may not. You'll know if that's for you, okay? What is being experienced inside is different than what is being reflected outside. What? Someone here. Yeah, like, they felt like they're so love with this person. They're, they think they're the best. They're, they're being sneaky and hiding something. I'm not saying that's for everybody. It's only for a certain person. You don't know who you are. Have patience. A deep realization or major breakthrough is experienced within the next few days. Someone here is going to have a deep realization. We talked about that clarity and the truth card with the Ace of Swords. The situation will change if you stop blaming and try to understand. That is for someone having trouble in a with a person with a you know, relationship, family member, or friend, okay? I heard relationship for someone. There is some urgency to communicate directly. That's your guidance for that situation, if that was you. An improvement in your lifestyle will take place sooner than originally expected. You are in excess. Somebody needs to, okay, hold on. Someone needs to cleanse their area, give away things, donate, what they don't need. They need to stop hoarding so much. Give away to others what they don't need. It's going to make more room for new abundance to come into your life. New upgrades. More money. More better things. Upgrades. Because, like, you hold on to stuff. I do it, too. I've got clothes, like, from middle school and stuff. I've been recently starting to give away stuff away because Spirit told me, like, I need to make room for new opportunities, new growth, to bring new things in. Uh, it'll also clean up that negative energy around you. And it'll give you a new, fresh mind reset. Okay? Time to start something new. No blame. Don't blame yourself. Quit blaming yourself. But also don't blame others. Speak openly, honestly. You will be received better when you come when you come from the heart. And your final one is serve people whenever you can. Beautiful. Alright, now we're gonna get your soul truth message, and I promise I'll let y'all go. If you're still hanging out with me and you haven't hit that like button.
tap that like button for me, please? Like I said, it does help this message get out to those who need it. I don't always know what to title my videos. You guys got two today, so guess what? We're reading two. Where can I ask for more help in my life? Until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgments to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Today's still action. Today, ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. Today's mantra, I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. I am letting, am I letting fear stop me? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable. But it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today's soul action. Today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero. So that is who you will become. You can be your own hero, baby. I've been my own hero my whole life. I understand. No. And you guys have too. Um, I love you guys. Oh, and the peacock because it was mixed in this. So there, this is a message for you guys too. Peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practi practice humility to avoid jealousy. <clears throat> that third chakra. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Someone's trying to silence you. Someone here. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Or they're trying to silence me, which ain't going to happen. I've been talking my whole damn life. And I ain't shut up yet. So. And it will be returned to sender with full forgiveness. And spirit can transmute what they want to transmute. Actually, you know what? I ought to just transmute it for healing for the collective confidence for you guys. Abundance, prosperity, unconditional love. I let spirit handle it. People will eventually learn not to mess with those of us that are in high vibration. That truly are on our soul's mission, our soul path. And give to others in the collective. And are here to help you guys grow, you know? I don't know why they want to do that. They want to mess with others' happiness. It's stupid childish and it's all gonna come back and you'll eventually stop getting that bad luck if you quit directing your energy towards people who don't deserve it okay but i still forgive you all right y'all some of you guys may be going through a situation like that they think you don't know but you do okay um anyways until we meet again remember do something nice for yourself this week that was my challenge take some time out i don't care if it's five minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes an hour buy yourself something sm even if it's something small treat yourself eat the something you want for dinner have the dessert do the damn thing whatever okay because you guys do a lot for everybody else that you don't do enough for yourself for real okay love y'all till we meet again